Hello and welcome back to part three. My name is Tim Stack and we are partway through this tutorial of creating a layout in Fireworks CS5. Okay, so I built a little navigation bar there. It's not functional. I'm just designing how it looks. Um, uh, let's see what else we need to do on this layout. So one of the things here on uh, uh, object management. You can see I got a whole bunch of objects over here, you know, from here to here. All of those are just making up that navigation bar. So um, once I'm done with this navigation bar, I don't really want to see all these again. So I'm going to put in a folder. So you can see down here at the bottom, um, I can put in. They call it calls it a layer, but it's like a folder. So I'm going to click that, and you can see I got it up here. And if I double click on it, um, I'm just going to name this nav bar. And then I can move all of these objects right into that layer or into that folder. And then if I toggle that down, I don't have to see them. And I can toggle it open anytime I want if I want to see them. Okay, so here's what we got so far. Now I would like these, uh, each one of these, to be its own button. So I'm going to have to cut them into pieces or I need to tell fireworks to cut them into pieces so let's go through that slicing um, process so one thing to do before I do any slicing is you can see how I've got some extra canvas here all the way around um, there is a button down here on the default properties bar um, just the fit canvas and that usually is the best way to trim off any excess canvas so I've just clicked fit canvas excuse me now it is the same size all the way around so I want to define where each one of these buttons will be so where someone will have to click um, and if I look over here under the web tools there's a tool here which is the slice tool so I'm going to pick up that now this slice tool draws um, rectangles so I have to slice in rectangles and it'll put a little piece of green film over this so maybe I'm just going to zoom in here a bit um, so you can see and I just need to draw a slice around the area that I want to be a button. So how about right to there? And I don't need to include, so I've got a little extra. I'm going to just pull that down. I went and got my, the black selection tool and I'm just tidy, making that uh, a little more accurate. Okay, let's just go along to the next one. I'm zoomed in a tiny bit too much. Okay, so the next one here, I'm going to, I've got the slice tool and I'm going to just click and drag that across and once you get started here they'll kind of want to snap um, together okay let me just get all five of these done right to there and maybe six I guess I have six right to there and right to there and the last one um, now this little green film, all it signifies, it just tells fireworks that when this is exported, that this is where I want it to cut and make each one of these into buttons. Oops, I did the wrong way there. Just trying to fine tune that last one. If the if you if you're having trouble fine tuning your slices, zoom in, then it becomes much more precise. Okay, so you can see I created this web. The web layer got created. There's those six slices. Um, let me just go back out here, where I can see the whole thing. So it looks a little funny because you're not really seeing your um, the right colors anymore. But anytime you need to, you can just turn off that whole web layer so you can see the content there. Okay, so. I've got those slices made. Um, I probably want to tell Fireworks the other areas that I want it to slice up as well. So I'm going to grab that slice tool. I want to make sure that it makes that Fireworks creates this top graphic. And I want to slice down here that slices out my main content area but doesn't include any part of the footer. Whoops, didn't quite make it all the way across. You want to go all the way to the, the full canvas there. Um, and then one more slice here along the bottom that sort of gets the footer or the bottom of the design. These little sub pieces here, you can slice those if you want and it'll kind of snap into place. Fireworks would take care of them for you as well if you didn't do that manually. Okay, so I got slices around everything. Um, the most important one here is this middle one. This middle one needs to be clean. By that I mean, let me just turn off some of these other ones. Um, 
that middle piece there needs to not include any part of the footer. So I can get a little closer there. Um, I don't want it to include any part of that curve and I want to make sure that it doesn't include anything at the top here because this piece is going to tile on longer pages so it's not including any of that little bottom part. It needs to be just a clean slice out of the middle because on long pages on my website that piece is going to repeat um, and if I've included part of the curve or if I've included part of the header or the buttons I'll see that little piece showing up uh, multiple times. Okay so there are my slices. I'm going to turn them all back on. Um, now I'm ready to export this if it's if it's um, if it's how I want it to look. I've got a little more work to do, so I'm going to turn off that eyeball. One of the things that I want to do is clean up this edge. I'd like a little thin black border all the way around the edge here. And you can see I've got a couple of extra rectangles that are exactly the right size and in exactly the right place. So I'm going to turn one of those on um, and unlock it. Okay, so all I want to do to, with this rectangle is I want to come down and tell it to have a black stroke or a black border and then tell it not to have any fill. So I just open that up and choose none. And so that rectangle is still there, but the only part we see is that little thin black border. And it's sitting right on top and it's in right exactly the same place. Okay, so um, other things that we might do, some people might th think we need a little thin black line here along, uh, along the bottom of my header. So you could just use the line tool to draw that in. Other folks might think, oh, it should be nice if this, f um, it might look cool if this image that you've got here fades downward. So all of that you can do um, if you want it to fade down. I'm going to unlock this. Um, this mass that I've created. If I select that little rectangle piece over there in the web layer, on the web layer in the layer panel, um, I can come in and add a gradient, just a linear gradient to that. And you can see it gives me a way to create a fade. Now it's fading on the top instead of the bottom, so I might have to switch the colors here. So the black and the white, I just switch places. Now wherever it's black, it's going to be faded out, and I've just moved the black to be to the bottom. Um, oops, I just didn't want to do that. Uh, so now I've got this fade on the bottom, and if I want to control that, you can see I have a little controller, so I can um, fade out that bottom edge. So that might be kind of a fun, a fun look. All right, one other thing I might want to do is these buttons across the top here. It might be kind of nice if they had uh, a little bit of a rollover to them. Maybe they just changed color. So again, I need to create another copy of those. So I'm going to do this kind of quick because this is meant to be a review. But I'm going to switch to the states panel. And you can see I have one state. And I'm going to duplicate this one state. Okay. So what, uh, what that really does, it just gave me two copies of everything. So in the second copy here, I'm going to come in and select all this text. And say, you know, I want this text to turn uh, how about blue? Let's see what that looks like. Oh, can't read that. Uh, maybe light blue. Okay, maybe that'll work. How about we make it the same color as the canvas color? That's what I wanted. So I'm going to open up my little thing and just go choose this color from there and I think that'll work. So you can see um, there's what my rollover is going to look like. So I've created the extra um, version. Now I just need to go back to the web layer and each one of these buttons has a little round menu that comes up on it or each one of these slices. I'm going to click on that and just say hey add the simple rollover behavior. All that does it says when the mouse rolls over this slice take what's in state 1 and swap it for what the image looks like in state 2 which is the one with the blue text. So I'm just going to add that to each one. Okay. All right. Now, with that much done, we should be able to test that. And I'm just going to click this preview button here. Um, and I can see that it is um, rolling over, which would be just fine. Go back to original. One other thing you can do as well as you're working, um, you can preview it in the browser just like in Dreamweaver. And it's not a bad idea to do that. So just preview this in Dreamweaver. It takes it a sec to load up. Okay, so there's what my layout's looking like right now. Um, 
it's coming along. I had the rollovers work. That's mostly what I wanted to wanted to see. And I don't think I'm going to worry about creating a footer here until the next tutorial. So that's enough for this one. So check back for part four where we export this out of fireworks and take it into Dreamweaver.